Hi, my name is Will Sitch. I'm a business development manager with the Communications Solutions Group at Keysight Technologies. And I'm Steve Reinhold. I'm a field applications engineer with Keysight in Santa Clara, California. We're here at DesignCon today to show our M8000 Jaybird and how it can be used to test a Gen 4 PCI Express device. So what we have here is an analog bits half power Surtees running at 16 gigabits per second. We're supplying the data input from our uh, M8000 Jaybird. That's going to the device receiver inputs. We take the device transmitter outputs, one of them into the Jaybird air detector. We're supplying a clock signal, 100 megahertz clock signal, as the reference clock to the device under test. And the second leg of the transmit output is going to the scope so we can display what's going on with the transmit signal as we're doing the test. And in this way, with our M8000 Jaybird, we can deliver a carefully calibrated stressed output signal that goes to the device under test, um, calibrated with uh, periodic jitter, random jitter, the uh, correct amount of intersymbol interference, and uh, of course also some um, sinusoidal interference to close the eye. So this uh, carefully calibrated output stress goes to the device and we test whether or not the receiver is able to tolerate uh, these stresses. One of the things Will mentioned was intersymbol interference, which is actually provided internally on the output stage of the Jaybird. And we have a uh, screen where we can, with high resolution, vary the amount of intersymbol interference that, that we apply. What we're testing with today is about 24 dB of ISI on the channel. And this is uh, unusual and uh, unique in the uh, signal integrity test environment because typically what you would see when um, we're inserting some channel loss is a big PC board with a certain amount of, uh, of, of trace length. Uh, we have the ability, as Steve mentioned, uh, to electronically adjust our intersymbol interference. So you can automate this uh, uh, stress jitter that's applied to the signal. You can vary the amount of ISI that's added to emulate different channel lengths. And of course, this is something that can be uh, varied until the receiver fails. So you can determine exactly what level and amount of channel loss your device can handle before it um, stops working. And what that leads to is an extremely simple test setup. You'll see we have only six RF cables coming from our BERT going to the device under test. So this test equipment can give insight like the results of jitter tolerance test. So what you're seeing now is a jitter tolerance test showing uh, different modulation frequencies and the device under test's response to the swept jitter. And you can see that the device is more and less tolerant of jitter at uh, different modulation frequencies. This test is of course being done to the draft standard of the PCI Express Gen 4 uh, spec, which has not been released yet. And we're lucky enough to have Analog Bits as a partner who have some early uh, Gen 4 hardware for us to demonstrate here at DesignCon. Thank you for joining us here at DesignCon, where we demonstrated our M8000 Jaybird and our capability to test this PCI Express Gen 4 device from Analog Bits. If you'd like more information about any of these products, please click on the link on your screen. Thanks very much.